Hello and welcome to day 11 of learning the names of God. Today's name of God is Jehovah Rapha. This is one of the more popular or well-known names for God, which means Jehovah, my health, or, and also it means Jehovah heals. And in the current status of the world that we're living in, from pandemic to um, COVID to all these different things, knowing that we have someone who comes to heal us should bring comfort, should bring hope, and should bring healing. Knowing that we have a God whose name is Jehovah, my health, my healer. And so we want to look at the original, as we do every day, we're going to look at the origin of when this, this uh, name for God came to be. And again, we bring, how we're dealing with the character of Moses. And so in Exodus chapter 15, the Moses and the children of Israel had been traveling. And so they were actually traveling with a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. That's how God was leading them. So they would follow the cloud during the day and the, the fire by night. And so they traveled for three days after um, coming out of the Red Sea and they were in the wilderness. And so people started, you know, being thirsty. They didn't have any water. So, of course, they started grumbling and complaining. And it says, we're going to pick up there in verse, in verse 22 of Exodus 15. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. Then they went into the wilderness of Shur. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. Now when they came to Marah, they could not drink the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Marah. And the people complained against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. When he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made a statue and an ordinance for them, and there he tested them. And said, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on which I have brought on the Egyptians on you. For I am the Lord who heals you. So you see a, a miracle here. These bitter waters were made sweet just by Moses following the instructions of God, telling him to take off a part of that tree and to throw it in and they were able to drink the water. And God showed the children of Israel this miracle to reveal his faithfulness, to reveal his provision, to reveal his love. But then he followed by saying, if you will diligently obey me, if you'll follow my commands, none of the diseases that I put on the, the Egyptians will I put on you. So that is the same promise that, gives, that God gives us today. If we obey his commands, if we live for him, we get to experience him as Jehovah Rapha, our healer. It's not just healer in our body. Of course, that's Part, of course, that's in, in his job description. He can handle that. But it's healing in every aspect of our being. Perhaps you're watching and you've gone through a really difficult time. Maybe you struggle. Maybe you've lost some people. Maybe you've lost some things. Jehovah Rapha is the God who heals. And he wants to come and heal every aspect of your being so that you can live out your purpose. In 1 John, the Bible tells us, Beloved, I, I pray above all else that you would prosper. And be in good health even as your soul prospers. That was the apostolic wish expressed there for us to prosper. But you can only prosper. You can only be as healthy as your soul. Because your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. If you're at all familiar with the story of Ruth and her mother-in-law, Naomi. And how Naomi had lost her husband and her two sons. And when she came back, they said they greeted her as Naomi. She said, don't call me Naomi. Call me bitter. Which was the word here for this place, Mara, which means bitter. But after God um, sovereignly intervened in the situation with Ruth and Boaz and brought them together, she was restored in the lineage of Jesus, and she no longer wanted to be known as Mara, which means bitter. So hopefully that will be your testimony. Whatever you've gone through, whatever experiences that you have had, come to God. Ask for an encounter. You can encounter Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals.